this location um, had a reputation, how, and how I found out about it was, was a bunch of lumberjack land surveyors who were out there who, who refused to spend any more than two hours on location. Mm -hmm. It was that haunted sounds and things moving and just, it was that toxic. So I got called in there, of course, to do my thing. To clean up? To clean up, mm -hmm. so, so that they could actually use the facility and survey it and actually do something with it. It can get dangerous, of course. That's why I'm classified as not only just a paranormal investigator, but extreme paranormal investigator. I'm willing to go anywhere. David. Chris. Chris. How you doing, man? How do you do? Nice to meet good. you. Pleasure to meet you. So here we are. Hope you found the place good enough. We out here in the middle of nowhere. Hi there, I'm Chris. How do you I'm do? Eva. Pleasure to meet you, Ava. This is Grandmother Sage in not only just native communities, but many cultures throughout the planet. It, it is represented as the best, suggested to be the best for purifying the aura. There are many ways to conduct this ritual. Everybody's got their own way. This is mine. Well, for all intents and purposes, here we go. Locked up tight. Wow. Actually, I feel the tranquility. I, I, to be honest, Ava, I don't feel the peace. I mean, I know we're in an idyllic setting, and you know, it's a beautiful, you know, but, but I don't feel the peace that you're feeling from this location. I use crystal to amplify uh, the ambient energy itself. We know that crystal, whatever energy you put through it, it amplifies and makes it stronger. So I'm using it very much like a bug light. If there's a spirit in the area here, it'll feel this frequency and come running. Ideally, it's kind of like you know laying out a piece of meat for a tiger. <laughs> okay, we've made a connection. Someone knows we're here. Female energy. Elderly woman. An initial connection has been made here. Female energy, it's a woman. She's within my 30 feet, but she's still inside the structure itself. I'm going to uh, get a little further deeper into the cemetery and hope to draw her out. I'm getting a bit more information about this spirit that's in the building. Um, I believe it was a minister's wife. She's a heavy set woman. She's dressed in white and blue a lot. Okay, so now there's a heaviness. There's been a lot of tears shed here, you can imagine. This is a cemetery. Whew, I'm gonna spin. Mm -hmm. It's buzzing, it's tingling. And what I've done, I may have looked ridiculous, but I assure you what I just did was a lot of work. <laughs> Again, bringing the energy in, filtering it, and allowing it to pass out the other side clean. Whew, a lot of work, a lot of work. There is something going on. I'm all disoriented right now. It, it's, it's changed too. Yeah, the energy just shifted, it's changed. I'm very confusing, I'm disoriented, I'm, I'm heady. Hmm. Let's, let, let's again get out, of the, uh, get out of the field of that church itself. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but I'm getting a very strong impression that my presence here is not, is not preferred or even appreciated. 
I am very happy to see a lot of animal tracks here. That to me represents that, again, there's no evilness here, there's no negativity. The only negativity that I'm perceiving here I know is because I'm crossing a religious boundary. What I am doing here is very heathenistic from their perspective. It's theirs, they're allowed to have it. I mean, we take our perspectives with us into the afterlife. This, this spirit, this entity that exists here has very strong beliefs and very strong principles. So I think we're gonna respect that. In a nutshell, this is sacred space. This, this is a safe place for those who uh, follow a particular and chosen faith. I have to respect that and I think it's time to go. Unfortunately, she wasn't nearly strong enough. I, I knew there was no way the cameras were going to catch her. She wasn't, she wasn't trying to manifest, you know. She was no more than just a globe, you know.